Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a very common case you face in your gynecology department, that is adenomyces. A middle aged female patient came with severe menstrual pain, that is dysmenorrhea. She also complained for huge parvaginal bleeding during the menstruation, known as menorrhagia. Now let's check on real time. Here is the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see there is a bulky uterus with inhomogeneous dotty myometrium, especially the posterior one. The endometrium looks quite thickened. Here is the transverse section of the uterus, and still you can see the posterior myometrium is quite inhomogeneous. Well, magnifying the image, you can get a better view. Magnifying the image, you can see tiny anechoic cystic spaces at the junction between endometrium and myometrium. This is a very common site for adenomyces. So again, the longitudinal section. And the transverse section. The endometrium looks thickened here. The thickness of the endometrium was around 19 mm. So here is the longitudinal section of the uterus showing the inhomogeneous pattern of the myometrium. And the uterus is bulky with a thickened endometrium. This is the magnified image of the posterior myometrium showing the anechoic cystic spaces at the myoendojunctional site. So in conclusion, the ultrasound shows bulky uterus, inhomogeneous myometrium, and thickened endometrium. Now the take-home message. Recommended TVS or pelvic MRI in patient complaining for severe dysmenorrhea for confirmation of adenomyces. This is a very common case in our society and we can easily diagnose this with TVS or pelvic MRI. Don't waste your time doing transabdominal ultrasound repeatedly to assess the adenomyces. Go for TVS or pelvic MRI. It's a very convenient procedure to confirm adenomyces. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are taking challenge to post one video per day. So get in touch with us. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.